Who are you just talking to? Huh? Who are you just talking to? Um, so that's one of my buddies that's gonna help me set up. Um, so this event's fucking super cool because it's a collaboration of like hell of people that I just work with. Um, and it's like a lot of people of color, you know? And I think this, what the most important thing about this event for me right now is like is representing like people of color. Um, so, sorry. here in Santa Cruz, um, just just for a fucking whole ass vibe today. Today I'm doing like an all Filipino food pop-up. Um, I got some classic Filipino foods that you would find from your like titas or your aunties. Um, but then I have some of interesting stuff that I want to incorporate that I feel like is Filipino American food. Um, some of the classics that we got going on is, uh, well of course I gotta have lupia because if you got lumpia at a party, it's a fucking vibe. Everybody wants to lumpia, you know? Everybody knows about lumpia too, especially if you're from the Bay Area, bro. Right? Like, I have a Longuanisa burger, because everybody loves burger, you know? I did a two-day cured Longuanisa patty uh, with some achara and uh, a little bit of garlic aioli, and furikake fries with a uh, hogger fresco on the side. Another thing that we got going on is we got adobo noodles. I love concept and I love adobo. Um, and I just thought that I'd mix both of them today. Um, one thing that I'm super excited for is my version of Chicken Joy. I wanted to do my own version of Chicken Joy. And I know a lot of people be like, oh, fuck, this is it. This is a fucking fried chicken. I'm like, bro, this is my version, bro. Like, fuck all that shit. So we have a two-day citrus brine chicken that I confit in pork fat and chicken fat. And then we're gonna throw it in the deep fryer, get it all nice and crispy and golden. Um, I got some sticky rice that I'm gonna put on the bottom. And then my I roasted off all the bones from the chickens. Fucking made my own house gravy. We have a soy egg um, on the very fucking bottom of the plate, as well as some over chips. And that's my version of chicken joy. So I can take it or leave it, I'll do the so today I'm working with one of my fucking like really close on these Dion. Um, he has his own clothing brand in San Jose called Kickback. Um, he actually designed my my logo. It's it's crazy because like bro, like hell people talk like oh I'm trying to do this with you, trying to do that with you, but they like they're never down to make it happen. Dion was like from the get go. He was all like I'm trying to do this with you, but very intentional. And then he fucking. We were just about it since. This fucking guy, man, he's just like, he's really about his craft. We're really about his work ethic. What I really fucking love about Dion is, you know, he is also a person of color, you know? Um, and he, he's out there to represent himself authentically, which is what I'm trying to do as well, you know? We did a shirt design together. Um, it's a little, <laughs> it's fucking super dope. It's like my homegirl's hand that has like ESSJ tatted on it which is where we're both from. And then she's holding a lumbia, and it has like a fucking drip of fucking vinegar coming down off it. So it's just like, East Side San Jose, where I'm from, uh, lumbia, which is like fucking Filipino food. And then it says masara, which means delicious in Tagalog. And it's just like everything that I want in one shirt. It's like, it's, it's a full Filipino representation, like right here, like everything I'm about in one shirt. Kickback pretty 
much started just like me pushing cards at Costco. I was pushing cards like it was a hot day outside. A car almost clipped me. I told him like, oh, kickback on me. And I was like, oh, kickback, that sounds kind of sick. I literally like went to my house and started like jotting ideas down and I figured out like what kickback could mean. Like it could mean like hanging out with homies, receiving a profit, and then the third one is like to kick the fuck back. So then from there, like pretty much, I started coming out with all these concepts myself. I like got all these ideas down. So one artist is named Amin. Um, I hit him up, I was like, yo, I have this idea. Like, cause I have a certain style with my drawing. So I try to get other styles. So I hit him up, I was like, yo, I have this idea. Can you help me out? He sketched some stuff. I hit up a couple of other, other homies on uh, Homie Seth. He got me with my logo. Then I hit up uh, this dude, his name's uh, Nam. Um, he got me actually with this design that's on the lighter right here. And uh, from there, I kind of just started building all these pieces together and I started saving files and you know. Initially, uh, I hit up Kapui to do like a graphic design internship. And uh, from there, it turned into actually like like a clothing entrepreneurship or like he kind of was like, show me the ropes. Uh, Jason from Kapui, I've seen how he like, how they design stuff. He showed me like where they print their stuff. And then from there, he gave me a task of like, he was like, all right, like I want you to do like, I think it was like 80 sketches, something ridiculous, like 120 sketches. I did 120 sketches. I came back to him, he picked 20. And then from the 20, I finalized those designs. And then I had a whole collection. Um, I'm at a point to where I'm determined to pursue my dreams and see what I can do as a black business owner and get it. doing is they're, we're doing right so it ain't gonna be easy for nobody to pursue anything that you want to do it ain't gonna be easy so it's a lonely it's a it's a lonely life bro being an artist and shit like but it's it's what's it's what's up like i'm just pursuing what i think is the next thing i just want to let everybody know that you know if you're having trouble with your community or your people or whatever and people are making you feel some type of way or fucking like I don't know, if, 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 if people are making you feel like gaslighted here or blah, 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 or like wherever you're at, you know, just, just circulate that shit and know that there is a community out there that's gonna support you and that is gonna vibe for you and like, in a way that you don't gotta explain your shit, bro. Like, I had to, I had to find, figure out that the hard way and I'm out here now and I'm, I'm thriving because of it, so. 
this goes out to all my homies, all my Filipinos, everybody in the service industry. This goes out to all my people of color. Like, I fuck with you guys. Like, thank you for the support and thank you for tonight. If somebody asks about the chicken, tell them it's citrus brine and then confit and pork fat. <laughs> so it's, it's a citrus, it's citrus brine and then confit and pork fat. Okay. And then we deep throw it in the deep fryer. Okay. So it's not like a like the OG Filipino chicken joint. I know some people are going to be mad about it, but also this is my shit. So yeah, we're going to do it my way. Uh, we are going to get destroyed. Yeah. But it's gonna be really fucking fun. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Woo! Okay. Perfect. Take. Let's take a second. Okay. We'll meet up. We'll meet up like 15 minutes before service. Okay. You guys enjoy yourself. Okay. Yeah.